My name is Trisha Roy. I'm a vascular surgeon at Houston Methodist, and this video will demonstrate endovenous treatment of the great saphenous vein with cyanoacrylate glue, or the trade name is Venusil. So we start by flushing the colored items. You'll see the green wire and the blue catheter. You want to separate your wet items from your dry items because the glue and the white glue catheter needs to be separate because it'll polymerize quickly. We attach it to the dispensing gun and then you're priming the glue catheter by depressing the trigger until it reaches that laser mark that's shown here. One of the benefits of venous seal, particularly for my venous ulcer patients, is that you can treat the entire vein below the knee without having to worry about thermal saphenous nerve injury. So here I am at the ankle, I'm depressing where I want to access, and I am going to inject a small wheel of lidocaine. You really don't need much here. Then I'll access this with a micropuncture needle and visualize the needle tip within the vein on ultrasound. When I visualize my tip, I make sure that I have flashback and then I thread the wire, making sure that it's passing easily. I then switch out for the seven French sheath that comes with the kit. So now I'm putting the green wire up through the sheath using short throws, making sure that it's passing easily. And I want to visualize that wire at the tip at the saphenofemoral junction. So once we're satisfied with our view and the wire is in the correct location, we can pass the blue catheter over the wire up to the saphenofemoral junction. We visualize the blue catheter once again at the saphenofemoral junction, and at that point, we pull it back 10 centimeters. At this time, we remove the dilator and we do a forward flush with saline. Now we're introducing the glue catheter, which we primed before. This will screw into the blue catheter, and now the tip of the glue catheter should be five centimeters from the saphenofemoral junction. With Venusil, you want to be five centimeters away, unlike the thermal techniques where you want to be two to three centimeters away. So now either you or your assistant should place a light pressure with the transducer probe distal to the saphenofemoral junction so you have no glue that extends beyond that to the deep system. So now we depress the trigger for three seconds, bring back the glue catheter one, press it again for three seconds, and move back the catheter by three, and now we will hold for three minutes. This is often the hardest part of the case. Next, we'll find your catheter tip with the ultrasound, and it looks like six stars. We go up a couple of centimeters, and often you'll see your last glue deposit there. That's where we'll hold pressure and depress the trigger for three seconds. Pull back again for three centimeters, and depress the trigger again for three seconds. We'll pull it back another three centimeters. Depress the trigger again for three seconds. Finally, we'll bring it back three centimeters. And then we hold for 30 seconds now. So that sequence you repeat until you reach approximately the 10 to 15 centimeter mark on your blue catheter. At that point, I remove the sheath and look at how much I have left in the skin. If it's five centimeters or more, then you can deposit glue one more time. Here you see we're already at one centimeter, so we're done. We will unscrew the white glue catheter and pull it back into the blue catheter. You feel a bump as it goes past a laser mark, and that means that you've safely put the white glue catheter back into the blue catheter. 
then you can safely remove it out of the skin and hold pressure. Finally, we check our great saphenous vein closure and the femoral vein, making sure it's nice and compressible and no DVT. We hold manual pressure at the end. Sometimes it helps if the patient flexes and extends the ankle to remove any residual blood. This was a demonstration of the venous seal technique, and thank you very much for watching.